Okay. So I have a lot of slides to get through. I'll go very fast, gloss over a lot of stuff. They'll be on GitHub as soon as we're done here. Um, all right, so white space language. Um, we'll go over the language, uh, how to vex and parse it, example code, um, another example, and this is where this stuff is going to live. White space is an imperative stack-based language. Only significant characters are line feed, tab, and space. <laughs> Everything else ignored. Operations are an instruction type followed by a command and the uh, interpreter maintains a stack and a heap. Uh, data is base two, spa uh, spaces and tabs are zero and one, line feed, end of number. First digit is uh, the sign, labels are similar. Uh, the imp is the high level operation. We have stack, arithmetic, heap, flow, IO. Um, stack, for example, so we see stack is rep represented by a space. A space means one of these is gonna follow next. Um, push, duplicate, swap as indicated by the command on the left. Arithmetic similar, addition, subtraction, et cetera. Um, arithmetic takes the top two items on the stack and that's what it operates on and replaces it with a result. Heap access, more interesting. Um, it takes the value to store and the address from the stack and similar to retrieve. Flow control, you can mark locations in the program and do a subroutine jump or a, a unconditional jump um, as dictated by these um, labels. Um, I.O. Uh, output the top of the stack as either an int, I mean, as an int, a number or a character, and similar, conversely, read a character or a number. Here's a program. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty simple, right? And so this is with spaces and tabs replaced to make it a little more clear, a little bit. <laughs> and this is for normal people. So Mr. White, th this application allows you to define it in textual form, not just in uh, white space to make it easier. So this sample program, any guesses on what it might output, given that this is an Erlang focus talk? <laughs> Someone called it, okay. All right, like second parsing, we need to take the stream of uh, tokens and ultimately get a, f a form that we can programmatically operate on. Um, We'll skip over some of the Luxane parsing stuff, but Leaks is a built-in tool in um, Erlang OTP, very similar to the Unix tool Lex, except they just added an E to it. <laughs> Get it? Um, the output from Lex, Leaks goes into the parsing stage, uh, also similar to the Unix tool Yak, with an E replacing the A, Erlang. All right, and so on the bottom here, we see this is the output, and this, this list here is what my code will operate on. And so we'll go skip over a lot of this. this. is just how we define the lexing specification. These are macros you know, defining each of the operations, similar other operations. And then here are the rules. It's based on the left and the input. On the right is what gets output, which goes into the parsing stage. Similar here. You can include Erlang code that um, can operate on that as well. And so the parsing sp specification has these tokens, which are the output from uh, the, the lex. And here we define on the right is what, this is what we're gonna get in the, the code in Erlang to, to uh, execute the white space program. So similar here, these, these uh, tuples are what, what we're gonna get. And again, Erlang code can be in, in included in here. And so this application that I wrote, it can execute white space programs, execute based on the textual form we saw, and convert back and forth just for kicks. So when we run a program, extract the labels first and keep it in the map of the label pointing to a line number or uh, index in the list of uh, operations, so we can jump as we need, just jump into the list. Um, we'll maintain a stack of integers, a heap as a map, and do jumps as necessary. So here's one sample um, uh, operation, stack push. So we see the first argument is the first element of the operations, stack push and then number, and it just prepends it to the stack. Arithmetic add, similar, we get the first two elements on the stack, and then add them and replace what had been there. Oops. Uh, heap, a little more interesting, we get the address and the value from the top of the stack like we saw before, and that goes, in, that's, goes into the map, the address pointing to the value. Flow, uh, I'll skip over some of this. Um, we just use the label to see where in the list of operations we're gonna jump, and upon return, then we just recurse again. Um, IO, um, this is read a number, just get it from standard in and push it on the stack, or it, push it into the heap. Um, so in the documentation, there's a standard uh, uh, white, space, white space program, which they define like this, just a lot of, um, uses a lot of these operations, and it just 
is, you would never guess from this, it outputs 1 to 10. Um, I put references here, and this will all be on GitHub shortly. And thanks very much.